Paano ba ang tamang pag-recover ng isang ankle sprain o tapilok sa paa? Kailangan ba ito ng gamot o necessary ba talaga ang hilot? Hello po, ang Tissue PJ from Prevail Rehab. Isa po kong licensed physical therapist dito sa Philippines. And in this video, I will be sharing some home recovery exercises para po sa mga natapilok, especially after playing basketball. If kayo po ay isang manlalaro at gusto nyo pong malaman kung paano mag-recover ng mga sports injuries, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel para ma-notify po kayo na may bagong upload po tayo. So una, before po kayo magpahilot, make sure po natin na maintindihan muna natin kung ano ang ankle sprain o tapilok at kung ano ang nangyari sa loob nito. We have three classifications po of ankle sprain. So grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3. So grade 1 po is isang mild tear po to. Second is moderate tear. Third is severe tear. So sa grade 1, grade 2 is usually conservative treatment lang po. No? Pag grade 3 tear na po, usually it involves uh, surgical. To answer the question na kailangan ba natin ipahilot o ipagamot, what happens after ilang minutes or seconds after the injury? Pag napunit po yan, example grade 1 or grade 2, so what happens is mag-increase yung blood circulation sa ankles natin. So dyan na po papasok yung pamamaga, sakit at stiffness during movement. In order to control the pain, inflammation, so your doctors may recommend po na mga anti-inflammatory or pain relievers, pero dapat natin malalaman kung ano ba ang purpose ng massage. Usually, the purpose of the massage is to increase the circulation, promote relaxation, but the research shows na hindi tayo mag dapat ng mga massage, ice, or rest. So overall po, this may help especially for short-term pain relief or especially after a few seconds or minutes after the injury. But after a day, make sure to, in to introduce po mga range of motion exercises, especially after one day or two days. Nakakatulong din po ang range of motion exercises for reduced swellings. You don't want to rely lang po no, sa pag-massage no, or manipulation. And one thing din po pag-manipulation, delikado po yan, especially if my fracture po tayo no. So yung fracture, hindi natin makikita directly yan. Yung x-ray po is mag-determine if may na-fracture ba na buto. If ever po nag-manipulate po kayo o pinipress nyo ng grabe, chances are magko-complicate po yung fracture na yan. So yung main priority natin, especially after the injury, is dapat ma-decrease natin yung pain, yung stiffness, at pamamaga o swelling. Aside sa mga price method, ice compress, massage, gamot, o manipulation, may pwede tayong gawin right after the injury. Kahit nasa bahay lang tayo, mga range of motion exercises just to decrease uh, the pamamaga okay? or, the, or the swelling. The first exercise is the dorsal flexion and plantar flexion. Do this po mga 20 to repetitions tapos 2 to 3 sets and you can do that 2 to 3 times in a day, dapat every day just to reduce the inflammation ng pamamaga. Within pain-free range of motion tayo, uh, ibig sabihin niyo po yan is when I do this, tapos uh, lumala yung sakit o yung kirot, make sure na ibaba ko muna konti, okay? Tapos balik tayo. It means po na wag natin isagad muna. So yung goal lang po natin is ma-move natin right after the injury. So may mga studies po na dapat hindi natin patagalin yung ice compress, yung price method, ganon. So aside from that, you can introduce this exercise, okay? After medyo comfortable po kayo, you can increase po yung range of motion yan. So, pwede natin itaas yan as long as yung pain is nasa baba ng 5 over 10, okay? So, if I do this, tapos yung pain scale is 5, tapos 6, 7 over 10. So, make sure baba ko ng konti, okay? So, make sure mga 2, 3 over 10 lang po. If na-regain nyo na po yung pagangat ng paa nyo, you can introduce this movement po, yung inversion at eversion. So you can do this, you can point your toes down and in, tapos out and up, okay? Sa ganito lang po. Mga first few tries na po yan, so medyo awkward ba yan, konti lang po, okay? Huwag muna isagad. So ganito lang muna, as long as pain-free movement lang po. Pag comfortable lang po kayo, pwede nyo na po i-increase yan. So same, mga 20 repetitions, tapos 2 to 3 sets, tapos 2 to 3 times in a day, okay? Review lang po. If ever po kayo ay natapilok, uh, hindi necessary na gamot or hilot o massage ka, gano. 
So, may mga konting remedy exercises lang po tayo na pwedeng gawin. Ito po tawag na rehab exercises, phase 1. So, yung phase 1 is we usually do that after the injury or days after injury. So, mga 2 to 3 days. So, after that, you can do some strengthening exercises. Yun ay phase 2.